What's up, Anabolic Minds? Andrew back from my arm workout. Uh, pretty good arm workout today. Got some good footage. Uh, I'm going to be throwing together a nice nice edit. Uh, actually, as soon as I get done with this, um, pretty much videotape my entire workout today. Uh, every exercise except for one set on biceps. Uh, today was arms day. So I started out with uh, triceps. Um, switched it up this week instead of doing close grip bench press first. I did skull crushers first and uh, got some nice uh, got some nice reps out of it. Uh, I started out with you know 65 just to warm it up. Uh, incline skull crushers. Well, you'll see that in the video. But uh, I started out with 65. Did that like 10 times just to warm up the elbows and and the triceps. And then I went up to uh, 105. Did that eight times. Uh, I said, what the hell, you know, that felt good, I might as well go up to 125. I uh, got that once, and uh, that was it. I uh, dropped it down to 105 immediately following, and um, pushed out 8 reps, and then I uh, got another 8 reps with 105 again, so that's 4 sets, and then 5th set, dropped it back down to uh, 65 and just kind of repped it out. Uh, felt good, kept the elbows in more on that one. I'm pretty sure I, I recorded that one, so you'll you'll see that. Uh, the angle was pretty shitty on the first two, but uh, that was that was good. Uh, I fixed it after I watched it, and I was like, wow, the angle's shitty. So, yeah, from there, moved on to uh, some rope pull-down, press-downs, and I uh, did five sets of that. Uh, did the V-bar press-downs for three or four sets. Then I moved into sevens, so I got the entire sevens set. Um, the entire sevens exercise for triceps. Did overhead pull-ups with the cable. My gym has a pretty nice uh, setup for that. So you'll be able to see that. It's, um, that's nice. Uh, it was tough. Got my arms pumped up. Um, and then I moved over to biceps. Did some seated bicep dumbbell curls. Uh, then I did some seated preacher curls. Uh, my wrist was feeling pretty good, so that's why I moved to the preacher curls. And then I uh, kind of got bummed out, so I just skipped over uh, a last exercise and just went straight to sevens. But the news that I'm bummed out about is um, my gym is moving and um, I knew that a while ago and it's moving you know negligible amount of distance from where it is right now pretty much right down the street and so I wasn't really concerned about that uh, but I heard today from one of the people that works there, which I didn't know, uh, that that um, um, I'm sorry, I'm not enough brain fart right now. I'm trying to multitask and I can't talk. But my gym's moving, yeah, and um, yeah, so they're not gonna have as many free weights. Now you kind of see my gym from the from the videos I've done, but. It has a pretty good amount of free weights, um, not that much, not that little. Uh, free weights aren't exactly the greatest, but I mean, it's it's good for what it is. It's good for what I use it for, which is always good. Um, hang on, let me just do this real quick. That didn't work at all. So, so they're moving. And apparently they're not taking all of their free weights. They're actually not taking any of them. There's going to be a lot less free weights. And I'm kind of pissed about that. Because no one consulted me on this. I mean, I feel that if you buy membership to a gym, and if the owner wants to move it, that's, that's fine. That's their decision. If they want to move it, that's good. But their gym fills a certain niche in in the town society, call it. And the niche that my gym, the Shamrock, fills is, you know, old-fashioned, hardcore training. You can drop your weights. That's cool. There's planet fagness for people who uh, don't like pressure or judgment and pretty much don't want to lift to get big. They want to lift to be gay, I guess. I don't know any other way of putting it. So there's a gym for that already. And if the owner wants to make another gym like that, that just doesn't make sense because where are the hardcore people going to train? Nowhere. There aren't any other gyms that 
that I would want to, that I can train at. This one's close to my house. It's, it's close to my house. It's a good rate. I already bought a freaking year membership. So, I don't know. It just pisses me off that something like this would happen. And no one tells me about it. I'm just really ticked off about it. So what I'm trying to do right now is find find the owner find the owner of the shamrock um, and send her a message of course I don't have that anymore so I'm going to have to search for her uh, she friended me on Facebook and for whatever reason uh, for whatever reason it didn't didn't go through, or she canceled it, or, or whatever, so, so I don't have it anymore, but I'm going to try to find her right now, and I'm going to send her a pretty interesting message, pretty much saying that uh, I don't appreciate what she's doing, and I really don't like, I really don't like it at all, um, so I'm trying to find her right now. I don't even remember what the hell her name is. Whatever, I don't have to do that right now. I'm just ticked about it because thankfully I only have only one I only have one semester left here. So I don't really give a shit what she does after that, but right now I'm really pissed about it. And uh, that's one of the reasons why my workout kind of sucked and I kind of stopped um, doing biceps. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's it's fair for the owner to just move and totally change the atmosphere of a gym? I mean, moving, yeah, moving is good. Moving is fine. I don't really care about the gym moving and negligible amount of distance. But with changing the entire structure of the gym, like I figured there would be some changes, but I figured they would want to keep all the weights. That's a pretty significant investment there. There are a lot of machines there. There are a lot of free weights. There's a lot of cardio machines. If she friggin' takes just the cardio machines, we're going to beat the shit out of her. It's bullshit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, didn't say anything about testosterone. It's good. I dosed, um, what I dosed? Four, four caps about an hour and a half before my workout. I actually tried a mesomorph sample today. I tried the uh, tropical fruit punch. Um, taste is kind of weird. Uh, it's not as good as the uh, Cellucore M5 that I reviewed. But it has beta alanine in it, and I did feel the tingles hardcore, uh, which is always nice. I love feeling the tingle from beta alanine. You get the warm sensation in your ears, it's all good. Mesomorph sample was very good. Taste was a little bit off, but I could feel myself. Like, if I had a container of it, I could definitely get used to it. Hint, hint, judgment day, send me a freaking container. Anyway, uh, mesomorph good, testotropin good, workout really good, gym moving, eh, gym moving and no free weights. Fuck that. I'll leave you with that. And uh, I'll work on the edit right now. Get that done. Till next time, Nicolella. Out.